everybody. Welcome back. We are here at the Veterans Museum for a Memorial Day car show. I don't know where our regular host, John, is. Didn't bring his Chevelle, his Corvette, but we had fun with that. He thinks it got stolen, but that's a whole nother chapter. But today, we're gonna to talk about a Dodge that belongs to Mike and Stephanie Fisher. You know, the cameraman, he's got this Dodge thing going on. But we're gonna show you that and a few other cars today. Yeah, so John, um, we decided to leave the Pentina on the truck the way it was. I've never done a rat rod before, so right. Steph and I decided not to paint the truck. So gotcha. we decided to just clear coat what we had there, cleaned it, and did all that. We actually took the truck up to Olympia to a guy, uh, John Hauschka, and he's the one that actually did the lines. Okay. Um, we truck. did all yeah. the airbrush on the side of the door and everything, but he actually- Oh, you did that, okay. Uh, and he pinstriped it and cleaned it all up for us, okay. so. But you did the valve covers and that other yes, stuff? Yes, we, uh, we did the motor, we do the valve covers and all that stuff, we uh, Yeah, it's did... a big block Chrysler, all right. Yeah, it, it was- uh, pretty good. Yeah, it uh, actually it's a pretty sweet little runner. It uh, does very well. We're, we don't really hot rod it a lot. We just kind of drive it, but uh, got the big aluminum radiator in there to keep Gosh, it cool. See that you need that. And uh, we converted power brakes. Oh, and, that's uh, that's almost a must. Yeah, yeah. We found a nice intake for it online, and uh, so she starts right up and runs good. We used a mini starter off of a 360 Dodge. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, to, you don't want that to manual drum brakes. They sucked at best when they were new. <laughs> <laughs> you put that kind of power in, you're done. Yeah, yeah, no. So um, it actually drives really nice, uh, even with the stock steering and the frame and all that. So uh, we enjoy it. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Then uh, take a look at some more of it. Yeah, when the interior. You did that? Yeah, we did all the okay, airbrush cool. on the side, and he did all the pinstriping around it. So on the interior, John, we ordered a cowhide off the line. See that. And uh, <laughs> nobody was really sure how that was going to be in there until they actually saw it. And then, uh, yeah, they got That's the unique. idea. So uh, I like the, the, the texture of it. That's definitely unique. Yeah. So, and as far as the rest of the interior goes, we did it all. We sandblasted the whole inside of the cab, epoxy primered it. Okay. And then we mixed our own color green and painted the green. Gotcha. Um, built a center console. We had That's to redo neat. the whole firewall because of the motor. Had, oh, yeah. We had to set the motor back a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, quite a bit. So, Steph and I worked uh, pretty hard However, the getting it all done. Headliner was a trick. Oh, it yeah. It turned out really well. It matches with That's the interior. And the panels, which you probably never had. No, we, built, we, we made all the panels, yeah. Right. Yeah, because yeah, these were just... Trucks, you know, work trucks, farmers hauled stuff in them. They were not meant to be fancy when they came out. No, when we drug it out of the place where it was at, it was bare inside. It didn't have anything. Yeah, so. it might have had like a cardboard headliner, all right, right if there. that. Track factory stuff, yeah. 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 And probably a rubber mat on the floor, maybe. And uh, no, I don't think it had that even. <laughs> really? Oh, it was all bare in here. Okay. It was all pretty much all rusted. You know, all the surface rust, anything that was painted from the factory was coming apart. So. Oh, yeah, I bet. So, Stephanie, tell us what you did under the hood here. Well, this is all a new experience to me. I learned a lot. I got to help box the frame and cool. weld the motor mounts. Nice. And to install the motor. Wow. Yeah, and uh, she boxed in some of the front crest member for the police clearance. And she oh, helped, yeah, that notch in there, yes. She helped do the radiator, um, help get the exhaust to clear. I mean, there was a, just a ton of work to do under there to make it fit. Right, um, I had to do a little bit to get that exhaust to fit on this side. I know oh, you did, God. and so much appreciated. You were the last step, and it worked, so yep. it was great. Well, we I'm left sure, uh, yeah. kind of like we found it. Um, like I said before, we clear coated the patina. We left right. it. We airbrushed on the doors. Of course, John did the mm -hmm. did all the pinstriping for us. We found uh, a nice little uh, tire cover there right. that kind of matched everything, so that worked out really good. Right. Cause um, let me guess, that wheel looks different than the Ford wheels you got. There? Yeah, we put the Ford wheels on there. We found them on uh, on Marketplace, and uh, okay. they seem to kind of fit the the bill. So it works. Uh, we left all the farm implements on I there. I see we, that. 
with the weight and all the back right. bumper and everything, how it uh, came right off the farm. We just kind of yeah, left it and that the way. Yeah, reinforcement there and yeah, the that's, tail light. And... That's how they had it when uh, yep. they were working it. So. Oh, and you got the yeah. tie downs. Yeah, it might have hauled hay. I don't know. I'm sure it did. Yeah. Firewood. F tractor engine. God knows what. It could have been. Probably don't want it. Maybe a pig or a cow or something, yeah, probably, too. You never know. Yeah. Hey, on the other side, it's got a grocery box, and I insisted we I keep it. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Batteries in there? No. No, it's for milk and bread. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so as we're walking around looking at it, wow, this bed. Tell us, tell us about that. That's an unexpected feature. This bed was my dream, and this is was what I really wanted. It's uh, oak plywood that we have stained and done some fractal burning on mm -hmm. and then we cleaned out the rivers and used some epoxy with green metal i see yeah yeah to fill in the rivers and right. then we flooded the whole thing and yeah we got the metal strips off. right are online somebody mm -hmm. was getting rid of them because they didn't use them oh right yeah because a lot of them had the wood bed all used them ford chevys dodge probably did too i think we wanted something unique and novel. Well, that definitely does it. You wouldn't think that. You look at this old paint and some dents and some rust. You you wouldn't expect to see that. And then it's like, oh, cool. No, she put in a lot of time on that bed. And you said you did it with a microwave unit or something and a couple of the nails? Yeah, yeah. Uh, baking soda and water. We did the fractal burn thing and uh, learned how to do that. And, I saw uh, a video you told me on that. I was like, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it uh, actually lightning bolts and 2D, you know. It did. It turned out real nice. Yeah, she did a good job. Well, thanks for showing us your truck, Mike. And ain't you got another project coming up going on right now? Yeah, we do. We are doing a 75 Volkswagen bug in the garage right now. Um, it's going to be a full custom thing, not anything like a normal bug. Baja too, right? Yeah, it's going to be chopped up into a Baja with go. a Ford motor. Wow. Yeah. So should I've be heard they work good in the sand rails. Why not the regular bug? Yeah, we're going to give it a try. There you go. Yeah. I don't know where John was. Well, show's got to go on without him, right? Yeah, thanks a lot, John. Thanks hey, no for problem. doing all this. Yeah. And, you know, we got to keep these old cars on the road. It's a little something for everybody. Rusty, shiny, older, real old. It don't matter. We got to keep these cars on the road because life's too short to drive stock. Hey, look, here's an alumni car from the show. I think I see a couple more of them over there, too. Hey, look, we've got Joe's car. You guys might remember his from the show. Scott the Apprentice. And of course, one of my cars, too, Master Fabricator. And since our co-host ain't here, Master Fabricator, somebody's got to have something here, some bling. So my Corvette, it's just cool, ain't it? So, another car show in the books. Get your cars out here. Get them worked on, get them going. We gotta keep them on the road. Get a hold of me if you need some work done. And make sure if you want your car featured, get a hold of me, John, Sam, any of us. We get your car featured on here. And it's getting nice, so remember to like, Subscribe so you know when there's a new episode. Doesn't cost anything. Stay informed, feel free to pass it on. Any of your friends, any platform, feel free to share it. <laughs>